we can see obviously some pretty significant recession, pretty significant diffuse thinning. And this is uh, before he started his protocol and, you know, like well on his way to uh, being uh, taken out by the Norwood Reaper, unfortunately. What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoreleads.com. Today we are going to be going over another transformation. This is uh, something that I was sent on Instagram and uh, I always like getting these and when they're good, you know, I will make videos on them and it's about uh, another guy who was uh, saved before it was too late. So this guy messaged me, he said, just wanted to let you know you fucking saved my hair, bro. This, this was July 11th. And he said, thank you so much for the videos you continue to make. Um, I actually missed that one and then he bumped it today and I ended up seeing this one and he said, Hey bro, just an update. If you're interested in my results and to further, thank you for changing my life. Uh, and he said, that's probably as bad as it was. I was 19 years old and he posts his before picture. So if we go look at his before, we can see obviously some pretty significant recession, pretty significant diffuse thinning. And this is uh, before he started his protocol. And, you know, like well on his way to uh, being uh, taken out by the Norwood Reaper, unfortunately. So he caught it at this point where, you know, some people would be like, you are fucked. You know, some people would be like, this is really far gone. But he's had a pretty significant recovery and it seems like he's going to be just fine. Because, in fact, his hair is very much on the mend. Now, he sent me... A couple of pictures with his hair down, which obviously a lot of people are going to be skeptical of. So like this was one of them he sent me. And obviously you can't really see a lot, but you can see he has good coverage here. This was another photo he sent me, which obviously the fact that you can wear it down like this shows you have enough hair to work with that you've had recovery. So this, this was good. Now in July, the video he sent me, this was like five months in or something. This was the video he sent me and he's basically showing me his hair back from his first message. And this was like, like I said, like five, six months ago or something. So this was like maybe like halfway into his recovery to where he is now. And as far as what his protocol is exactly, um, he said that, um, let's see, blah, 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 blah. started really young because of you making me aware I was balding really badly, have been using finasteride daily stacked with minoxidil and RU5841, applied every night, stacked dutasteride on top for the month, on top of finasteride for a month in the middle and I think I was starting to experience sides and I stopped it because it was a dumb idea to begin with. I nearly have my original hairline back at this stage and I bought a Derminator, which I'm gonna start blasting to hopefully regain even more ground and get my pre-puberty hair back over the next year. Um, and then I asked for more pics and he sent uh, this. Of his hairline, as you can see, the recession is essentially like being filled in. Like anything he was losing before, the density is back and he's starting to regain that like Norwood Zero territory even. Like this, this is very good ground being gained back here. And this is before even adding in microneedling, which is going to take his results to a whole nother level with the minoxidil in conjunction with that. So I wouldn't be surprised if he gets pretty damn close to like, like you know, baseline at, with the rate at which he's going. So he said, uh, these are my temples right now. The left one is filled out a lot more than the right. You can see the regrowth coming in though. And I'm hoping derma rolling could potentially get me close to a proper Norwood zero. And I wouldn't even think that is like, you're not going to be literally, you know, like pre puberty, like perfection, but like the fact that he's already here and he hasn't even started microneedling, like that bodes very well for him. And, uh, I think he has, uh, good potential to get back to like, like near baseline to the point where no one would even suspect, no one even suspects he has hair loss now, I would think. Whereas before, obviously you saw his before picture, everyone would be like, you're gonna be fucked soon. But now he can actually wear his hair down and has that good density to, uh, you know, have it look good whether he wants to style it or not. Um, and obviously we have the uh, hairline coming back in. So the density obviously helps the most, but then as well as actually getting the hairline back, which is the next step. And it looks like he is uh, well on his way to that. So circling back to the protocol and the reason I titled this video, the meat and potato stack, or I, I don't even know what I call it, the meat and potatoes protocol or something like that is because 
this is essentially the cookie cutter meat and potatoes stack that does the majority of the legwork for most people and it is well tolerated it is um hits all angles pretty sufficiently for most people um how does it work exactly so minoxidil the most potent growth agonist we really have available um obviously in conjunction with microneedling it's the most effective but even like monotherapy it's very effective as well um Finasteride, 5 alpha reductase inhibitor, inhibits a decent amount of DHT, upwards of 70%. You get a subsequent spike in scalp testosterone, which then you can either choose to do nothing about, or you can take care of with a topical antiandrogen, which is where the RU58401 comes into play. All in all, has a compounding level of DHT being wiped out, handling the residual DHT and testosterone in the scalp, being able to halt miniaturization to a significant extent, and then allowing you to push the regrowth vector without any kind of pushback from the you know miniaturization continuously like in a disproportionate manner offsetting whatever gains you're getting from the growth so it's like at the end of the day you are preventing further loss while simultaneously stimulating new growth thus equaling like one plus one equals three kind of thing is what this stack essentially achieves and it is uh honestly pretty cost effective and well tolerated for what you're doing like minoxidil you can get for you know several months for like less than 100 bucks um and if you want to get like the super greasy kirkland shit you can get you can get like a year's worth for under 100 bucks um finasteride you can get a prescription for probably a year's worth for under 100 bucks too um depending on your insurance and then ru is the only thing in there that might cost you like i don't know 500 bucks a year or something depending on how much you're using um I, to be honest like that amount that you're spending is fucking peanuts compared to keeping your hair and like avoiding having to get a transplant down the line and then knowing even once you get the transplant that you are probably going to need more transplants because you're not doing anything to prevent further loss and there's nothing wrong with the transplant it's just ideally you don't want to get to the point where you need one to begin with you know that would be the ideal scenario for most of us so and he sounds like he's on the right track he's getting the derminator which is the uh, micro needling device that most people i know as well as myself use that is like the most time efficient way and the best way in my opinion to get an accurate uh, depth and uh just poke yourself as many fucking times in the head as possible with the ac <laughs> accurate needle depth um, and it can literally double your results from minoxidil that we've seen like clinically as well as anecdotally hundreds of times at this point. Um, so yeah, the meat and potatoes and as far as dutasteride causing a hair loss or causing a side effects, um, you know, that's hit or miss. Some people, obviously when you inhibit all DHT expectedly, some people are not going to handle that as well as finasteride. Like it might be a little bit too much and that is just you know individual specific as well and like when you're inhibiting all of the isoforms of 5 alpha reductase you get into the territory of fully wiping out certain neurosteroid production which is obviously problematic for some individuals and can lead to heightened levels of anxiety uh, potentially uh you know mood irregularities fucking you know depression in some cases and this is where finasteride is obviously more well tolerated because you at least have some 5ar activity and there are ways to manually backfill that steroidogenesis pathway without full inhibition of the enzymatic activity. You would otherwise need to produce some of these enzymes and that's sort of where, you know, uh, some of my videos in the past or more recently talking about, you know, progesterone and, uh, you know, allopregnenolone analogs and stuff like that. Anyways, it's like this guy's side effect free with his, pro with his protocol and most people will be as well. And that is promising. And it's good to see that he, he's got the results he's got with this because he probably doesn't even need the dutasteride. So adding in the microneedling is definitely a good move. And I think this is a good example of a like meat and potatoes newbie protocol that uh for most people if they catch it early enough would like a lot of people are going to catch it even earlier than this guy like this was just like pretty far gone for catching it early this looks like you know you've got some fucking work to put in to get back to a good baseline and the fact that he's been able to get back to a good baseline just shows how good of a responder he is as well as uh how potent of a stack this is even though it is not really uh overly complicated overly expensive overly you know anything crazy it is very very basic and most people are going to get away with it just fine and do very well so um you know just another case report to be honest to bring you guys and this was a really good one in my opinion and 
shows the uh, efficacy of all of the different vectors. You're not just pushing the growth stimulant vector and then letting everything else go to shit. You're not just trying to combat all the DHT and testosterone with a topical antiandrogen, which is like pretty damn difficult. You're not just inhibiting DHT and doing absolutely nothing about trying to push additional growth or handle the subsequent spike in scalp testosterone or the residual DHT that's chilling there. You're basically handling all different areas in some capacity and getting a one plus one. Like realistically, it's like a one plus one plus one equals like fucking 10. Like that's what this guy is doing right now. So that is a good uh, example, in my opinion, another case report to uh, for the books, you know? And uh, uh, I'll probably come out with some more uh, like good case reports of some different, more like exotic uh, options and whatnot. Cause you know, a lot of people they'll see me talk about, you know, like what are these nuclear protocols you talk about and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I don't talk about them as often because they apply for like no one, you know, it's like, it's like very few and far between that people will even need to use the stuff that I talk about that I dig into my research because the whole point of my videos are to get you to the point where you don't need to touch that stuff. So you can just do something like what this guy did and handle a well-tolerated treatment from the get-go and not let your hair get so far gone that you have to dig into some of this weird like exotic shit you know what i mean so and obviously there's the individuals who will not respond well to 5-alpha reductase inhibition or um, topical antiandrogens and that's where you start to get into the realms of alternatives which so obviously you know there's a bit more crossover for those individuals with some of the more exotic stuff um pgd2 antagonism blah 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 you know different kind of uh more well-tolerated topical antiandrogens that aren't as traditional, you know, selective androgen receptor modulators, you know, other things that I've been digging into. But for 99% of people, this is like the applicable information that will work. And if you get catch it early enough, will be more than sufficient to uh, keep everything going. So um, take from that what you will. Um, thank you to Faraz for sending me this. I appreciate it, my man. And I'm glad I could help. It's always cool to see uh, the reviews of guys saying, you know, like I saved their hair. It makes me uh, feel good about the videos and whatnot. So um, um, that's awesome, man. Like I'm starting to accumulate quite the archive of uh, testimonials at this point. It's actually really, really cool to see because, uh, you know, that what more could I hope from my content than to uh, be able to reach guys like this, have them like save their fucking hair and then reach out to me and give me examples to make content on to help more people save their hair. Like it's pretty awesome. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like subscribe, check out my blog, moreplates.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplates underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Bidju, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic, the pharma grade hair loss medications that I use myself um the fast drying minoxidil that is not greasy you can get the greasy one it's way cheaper but there is non-greasy ones which are uh, more expensive and uh worth it in my opinion if you style your hair and don't want it to look uh, gross during the day um the best ketoconazole shampoo that i'd recommend for newbies um get nizerol if you are on a budget but this is the one to use if you're going to be going out and uh, don't want your hair to look like it's been uh, malnourished and sucked dry essentially um no pun intended and then uh anything else i am associated with is uh video description below so thank you guys for watching talk to you soon